All right. What's up, people, man? Hey, I want to read this letter that they found on the phone of that suspect in that Chesapeake, Virginia, Walmart uh, shooting where he killed a bunch of his co-workers and wounded some of them. That this chump decides to take this action off of thinking people was talking about him. And in the note, he writes, sorry, God, I failed you. Says this was not your fault, but my own. I failed to listen to the groans of the Holy Spirit, which made me a poor representation of you. I was harassed by idiots with low intelligence and a lack of wisdom. I remained strong through most of the torment, but my dignity was completely taken away beyond repair by my phone getting hacked. This fool did this shit over saying someone hacked his phone. I can't say that they were the only ones that uh, lacked intelligence and wisdom. I was just as guilty and failed my management team and everyone that ever loved me by convincing them that I was normal. And the associates uh, orchestrating, uh, what he says, orchestrating, uh, sorry, the uh, associates orchestrated it, says they laughed and made subtle code speeches, which I eventually figured out. I thought, and this is redacted, they taken something out, I thought uh, blank was my friend, but he betrayed me, betrayal, is one of the worst feelings next to regret. They laughed at me and said that I was like Jeffrey Dahmer. I would have never killed anyone that entered my home. A few months back, I had overheard Blank, so it's a name redacted, talking to Blank and had told me that he, that he had been trying to get rid of me since day one. After I heard that, after I heard that, I lashed out. The associates gave me evil twisted grins, mocked me and celebrated my downfall the last day. That's why they suffered the same fate as me. So it looks like he targeted these people he shot. So let me continue on. So he got another name uh, blacked out. It says blank from maintenance was emanating with the Holy Spirit, it says which I could feel. People thought that she was crazy for walking out. But unlike me. She actually listened to the Holy Spirit like blank and blank knew that they were antagonizing me. So one day she approached me in person and in, uh, in personnel and apologized or he meant in person and apologized to me. On her last day, she looked me in the eyes, terrified by a demonic uh, what it, by a demonic aura. My true intent was never to murder anyone, believe it or not. I was actually one of the most loving people in the world, if you would get to know me. I just wanted a wife that was equally yoked as I and obsessed over the thought. However, I didn't deserve a wife. I hope that people will learn from everyone's mistakes and truly love God and not the material possessions of the world. My only wish would have been to start over from scratch and that my parents would have paid closer attention to my social de uh, to my social deficits. Sorry, everyone, but I did not plan this. I promised things just fell in place, like I was led by the Satan. Uh, says yeah, that's what he wrote. By that I was led by the Satan. Um, I have written songs in the past, though. I only did it when I realized that my phone was hacked. And was giving the oh, and was giving the worst feelings imaginable. I wish I could have saved everyone from myself. I was spare blank because I have a special place for her in my heart because my mother died from cancer. Please, and it's another blank I name. Let everyone know that uh, that bitter seed apric uh, that bitter seed apricot are the cure for cancer. Not doc uh says not the doctor. My God, my God forgive me for what I'm going to do. And this is as he wrote that before he went into that job and killed those people. And they said that weapon he brought, he brought it the day before. No, no, matter of fact, they said he brought it the day of this uh murder. So this fool went on this twisted shit because people laughed and teased him, because girls felt that he was awkward. None of them will fuck with them. And I'll tell you, man, that's when people begin to turn weird. When fools can't get get no uh, uh pussy and shit, 
And I'm sorry I'm speaking blatant like that, but this is just the way I like to talk when having these kind of talks. You know, I ain't about to nerd shit up. Uh, it's going to speak blunt and, and just real as hell. But uh, but th that's that's really what it turns out to is is these fools who can't get laid. They turn weird. Some of them probably are weird fighting uh, uh, that they're probably homosexual and shit. And then they go about these twisted acts when people are laughing at them, teasing them. And people who tease these people are wrong as fuck, too. Learn to leave motherfuckers alone before you get them to fucking crack. And then other people begin to fucking uh, uh, be, you know, feel the wrath of these crazy ass people. And you ain't got the protection to fend these motherfuckers off. Just learn to leave people alone. Stay the fuck up out of people's shit. Now, this suck ass dude doing this shit, man, I wish somebody could have stopped that motherfucker. Wish somebody would have crowbarred his ass to the head with a chair or something and, and, and kept this fool alive for some people just to beat the shit out of him. But um, it is what it is. But that, that, that shit... To do this over people talking about you, homie, come on, man. It's more to it. And there's probably other people with the same kind of mentality of this dude. And this is why these are things that have to be strengthened in the person in, in, in childhood. And it takes work because you see some kids are weaker than others, especially mentally. It just takes time to work through them, uh, to build them and shit. But that's all I got. Peace.